x value and divide it by the standard deviation. The z-score is the area under the bell curve and will help you compare data. Thanks. Alright guys, this is chapter 3 and we got relations. And we, to describe a relation, we use outliers, shape, form, and directions. And we got a regret, regression equation which gave us a prediction. And the better the correlation will be, the better the prediction is. And, but also remember, the correlation doesn't always mean causation. And this is chapter 3, and we have chapter 4, where studies are designed. And first we gotta do sampling, where we have randomized sample and biased sample. Remember, always do the randomized, not the biased. Also, we got observations, studies, and experiments, where experiments impose treatments and should involve random assignment, and where that's where provides a causation. On the other side, observations doesn't have treatments, so it should have it should involve random selections where applied to a larger population. All right, that's. Three. Partners, today I will be discussing two things, probability and random variables. So, first off, we are going to start with probability, and what a better way to familiarize ourselves with this concept than to create a simulation with a table of random digits. So, 
you want to make sure it's a simple random sample. So once you get the simple random sample, you also have to determine if the test is independent, which means that your sample size is less than one tenth of the population. After that, you're going to find if it's normal or not. Now, in some cases, you can use n times the proportion for proportions and n times 1 minus the proportion. This is the population proportion, by the way, in case you were wondering. And make sure those are both greater than 10. But sometimes you also have to make two different graphs, like a box plot or a normal probability plot. Make sure the box plot is symmetric and the normal probability plot is linear. Linear means that the dots will be in a straight line, obviously. So the next step is the do step, and that's where actual math comes in. Notice it took three steps for us to get to any math. That's basically what stats is, a lot of writing, very little math. So on the do step, there's a number of formulas you need to learn, all of which are annoyingly complex and I'm not going to go into here but you'll probably understand them by the second or third day after the quiz. <laughs> In conclusion, you reach the conclude statement where you say basically whatever you found and how certain you are that the interval that you found contains the true mean or true proportion of whatever you're trying to find in the population. That's the end. Check this out. You hear that popping noise? You're supposed to whisper. <laughs> you hear that popping noise? That's my wrist. <laughs> 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 That's good. That's good.